in that moment in the hearing room, why did you react the way that you did to the comment that Marjorie Taylor Greene made about you? So I want to clarify that I actually did not react instantaneously. Um, I actually was trying to allow the process to work. So you heard from AOC, who is our vice ranking member, and you heard from Jamie Raskin, who's our ranker, as we attempted to go through the process. And there was an agreement. And of course, Marjorie had to be Marjorie, and she refused to actually apologize. Therefore, I needed clarification as to why the chairman refused to actually take her words down, which meant that mm -hmm. she would be kicked out of the committee room for the rest of the hearing, which would have been appropriate. Now, the part that I think really kind of, frankly, caught the Internet afire is when you described Green in this request for clarification as a bleached, blonde, bad-built butch body, which I had to look at my notes to read. Um, any regrets about that kind of language, especially given that... First off, let me know in the comments, do you think she was justified saying what she said about Marjorie Taylor Greene? That you were trying to make a point, uh, frankly, about decorum in the hearing room. I have no regrets. And I'll tell you why. Because Marjorie Taylor Greene is the type of person that if you give her an inch, she'll take a mile. And the fact that they continue to allow her to break the rules of decorum over and over and over, whether it's the State of the Union that the president is delivering and she's wearing a MAGA hat or otherwise, the reason that she didn't have committee assignments before was because she did not know how to conduct herself as a member of Congress. And so if I just sit there and say, oh, well, Marjorie said it about me, what's to stop her to continue to do it again and again? And at the end of the day, I was elected as a representative of Congress, but that doesn't mean that I'm supposed to be somebody's doormat. Mm -hmm. But Michelle Obama famously said, when they go low, we go high. Are, are they, those days basically over? Um, I, I want you to answer that question also in the comments. Are those days basically over? Are you the same as that? Or are you supporting um, Jasmine Crockett for what she said? I don't know that we can even call this a low. I mean, she goes to hell, and then I do my best to remind her as to why she should not cross me. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video. It was very interesting. I definitely want your opinion on this.